This video shows the working basics of RFID, so radio frequency identification, um, so near field communications. Um, it's working on an MSP430, um, code written in C via um, the IAR embedded workbench program. As you can see, it's an RFID RC522 um, board, so it's got the sort of RFID chip on there. Um, I think it's made by NXP slash Philips company you've got the antenna on there and um, it links into the MSP430 which is on a launch pad development board so it's a dual socket chip on the board um, through the SPI so serial peripheral interface um, just through some jumper wires which I've got on there and then the board is linked into the computer via the USB cable um, this is the MSP430 G2553 so it's got the hardware um, serial port in there so you turn the two jumpers around on the board you can just see through the middle there the diagram showing the setup so which is matching that on there for the hardware UART um, so it comes up as a USB adapter so um, I've got the code running now um, so you can see um, I've got LED 1.0 on the left just to the right hand side of the switch button there when it finds a card will light up so if I put the card so you can see it's finding the card now. Hand away. Yeah, back on. Away. And I've also got a blue card, dot like a chip as well, um, which should, as you can see, there you go. And there we go. Um, the codes is modified from a couple of codes. One is an MSP430 code for the CC Anaron CC110L low cost wireless modules, which is um, the code from that is the SPI code, so um, using the sort of read write um, commands. And the other code is for the um, RC522 for the Arduino, so I've kind of copied and um, modified the codes for the MSP430 um, for the sort of communicating with the actual card and then obviously linking it through with the SPI code um, and then obviously the USB serial code is also from the wireless module so I've got on the computer um, so there's IAR you've got just a serial terminal emulator there on the screen you can see it's clear at the moment if I put the card so you can see it comes up to card detected the serial number of the card and I've just got a little bit in the code just whenever it sees that serial number, it knows it's the white card. And if I do the blue, still take it away, then you can see it picks up the blue card. So it knows the two card serial numbers. And the next stage, um, really, um, which is kind of further than I need to take it, is actually communicating with the card to get the actual memory of the card. Um, so I probably will do that at some point. But for my kind of state at the moment, all I need is the serial number so I can determine which type of card is present on the board. So you've got white card or blue tag. And you see it's working working really well. So yeah, any questions drop me a message and uh, thanks for watching.